all right you guys i'm back welcome to part two two of this unboxing from dale from not too shabby chic if y'all have missed the part one i would definitely go recommend that y'all go watch that first because you're gonna see so many cool um gifts that she's already blessed me with and i am spoiled rotten you guys but this is the part two be sure to subscribe to dale's channel as well you're gonna see stuff that you'll definitely like and also check out her etsy and then we have some more goodies within the box that she sent me which was so super massive and here is a picture for reference so if y'all are seeing all of my repetitiveness from the first video i'm sorry but i don't know maybe someone came this is like the first video that they're watching of mine so i just want to be sure that they know who this awesomeness is from because it is going to be so so special to me it's so very special all right you guys so what we have inside that baggie was wow look at this gorgeousness <gasps> wow look at this stationery you guys isn't that gorgeous how pretty and this is a chunky chunky book it's so beautiful no, my phone is doing something weird it says maximum has been reached and we're back sorry i had to put this phone to charge because it's already dying there was just so much goodness in here she shared some of these flat back jewels and i think they're so so pretty oh i'll have to put them back later and she said shared some scrap of papers here that are just phenomenal and i can already see how fun these are going to be she shared some beautiful striped paper with me and they're a perfect size and everything to just incorporate them into junk journals. We have, ooh, some of this cute scrapbooking paper. Um, this is a double-sided paper. I love double-sided. Some more of these floral papers. Oh, this is baby for my baby journal, maybe? Or for memorabilia. Let Look at this. Baby. Struggling to focus some paisley. Oh my word. These are so cool. Let me, see that baby. Let me show you. Right here. No, leave those alone. Because I don't want you to mess with those. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Let me see your babies. And then, moving right along, she sent me some more of this 6x6 six six paper pad with some fun prints in here. Aren't those gorgeous for making tags or DIYing some ephemera and then look at these girls look how cute they look this one's doing a flip that one's sitting in a tube what is this called an inflatable something I don't know what to call it and some more six by six papers with some more fun prints and this one is a heavier cardstock I don't know if y'all can see that let me focus this thing it's getting out of focus some more of this a lot of this floral paper goodness <gasps> dale i'm more stocked up than walmart i think i'm see. opening it the wrong way here we go oh look at that how pretty oh that's so pretty oh my gosh <gasps> i'm definitely gonna have to share with friends how fun would these be for them to see these cuteness of junk drilling stuff. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that. So fun and festive looking. Almost reminds me of like Cinco de Mayo, which my niece is a Cinco de Mayo baby. Isn't that cool? And then here we have, I can see some polka dots. I'll be able to put this in my Selena journal. This would go perfect. And some more polka dotted prints here. Oh, look at these leaves. This is a thinner paper. You can see it's somewhat translucent that's beautiful oh wow this looks like a mermaid this reminds me of like van gogh portraits or something oh wow these are so they, they almost look like they would be like rice paper or something y'all see y'all see this oh those are so pretty all right moving right along here i take little breaks here and there because i do have a four-year-old and I think he's ready for a snack. He's looking in the pantry. Can you hear him trying to reach up to get something? Look at this. We have some mermaids for a cute mermaid journal. Some more of this 6x6 six six paper. And it is a heavier cardstock here. Oh, look at those leaves. How pretty. They remind me of one of the envelopes that I made for um, Dale that was inspired by Kara. 
she loved it she said that she wanted a tutorial on it but i don't know if i could <laughs> i don't know if i could make it again oh look at this how pretty <gasps> gorgeous and some more oh look at this <gasps> that's like an asian themed paper it's so beautiful there's more oh wow she sent three of those and then some of this fun print as well look at this constellation right this is a constellation i think jayzo would like this he's into this kind of stuff all right moving right along we have another this looks like something that you can possibly um rip apart or stick it in a journal back it up with some cardstock and or collage some more six by six fun papers some more of this fun print of paper with flowers gorgeous 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 oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> so much dale thank you You're taking my breath away with this. This is so beautiful. Look, here we have. Oh, look at this little fun fabric. I'll bet that was really pretty fabric. Do y'all see that? Uh, Cute. A deer for maybe a hunting theme journal or a ooh, forest. A forest journal, yes. Ooh, look at that fox. Ooh, it's so pretty. That's very pretty. Here comes Paul. Look at that fox. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. And we got some palmas here with some hibiscus flowers. Some more floral prints. Ooh, you know me well, Dale. Oh, look at this cute little... Um, oh, and she's winking. Cute. Mermaid. There we go. I couldn't think of it. Ooh, I see some gold in that. Oh, stunning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, this says Dad. Father's Day is coming up, so this would be perfect to journal in my junk journal to honor my daddy has some heart envelopes yes how cute oh wow look at this map Ooh, del norte very very pretty aren't those awesome that was gorgeous all right i went ahead and i pulled out the rest of the napkins that she put in here for me and these have these beautiful birds i think i'm also going to share these with crafty friends and you can see that beautiful butterfly up there in blue it's so cute i love i like looking at birds nests and it just it intrigues me so very much i like to look at them and i think they're so fascinating and then we have here what looks to be like a not a fountain is it a fountain no a bird a bird fountain i guess there we go with some drapey looking flowers coming from that tree oh i love hydrangeas those are hydrangeas right <gasps> gorgeous they're my favorite flowers by the way and here we have a mini little notebook for writing some more Ooh, so you can write notes for whatever month you're on or whatever day you're on and it doesn't even you can write down what particular month you are on by yourself so you don't have to worry about stressing on like getting that month filled out even if it doesn't so I, that's gonna last me a while and then next up she shared some washi tapes with me oh look at that gold in that washi tape what's up buddy okay stick it on you oh look at those flowers look at that washi tape so cute Next up, we have this baggie full of goodies as well, and I'm already seeing some faces here. I see Natasha from Treasure Books unbox something like this not too long ago, and I thought that they looked really intriguing, but look at these owls. It's like a very eclectic um, type of art. Look, how cool is that? I really like this. This looks so cool. I love the colors. Oh my. <laughs> Sorry. Her hair. So we got a couple of those. And then this one looks more like a 4th of July type thing to me. With some birds and stars. <gasps> Ooh, craftiness is happiness. Yes, it is. Look, these look like sisters. Ooh, so cute. All right, moving on to the next one. Because if not, we'll be there all day admiring that book. And then here we have some journaling cards in all kinds of colors. Oh, I love those roses. Those are very pretty. Love anything floral. 
here's the back on that journaling card. Isn't that gorgeous? So, so pretty. Ooh, look at that bird. These are so pretty. This says Henry C. Morris & Co. Washington Furniture and Upholstery. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, look at that owl. Isn't he handsome? Wow, these are really pretty, Dale. Thank you so, so much. These would be great for like a collage. For collaging. Oh, look at that. It's a swan. And are these hydrangeas? Yes, they are. Oh, I love them. How did you know, Dale? Look at those flowers. Those are gorgeous. Wow, those are beautiful. Next up, we have some more journaling cards and fun ephemera. Like those are like borders, I want to say. I'm gonna keep y'all in view here. This one's iridescent. I don't know if the camera's picking up on it. All right, let's go potty. Let's take. A All right, break. you guys. I am back. We have some more of these cute little borders. Look at that journaling card. Oh, these are so fun. I love that. So beautiful. Wow, Dale. I can't get over how pretty these are. Look at that one. It looks like a like a watercolor, and you can kind of see like the ink spread there a little bit how pretty and here we have some more flowers with a journaling spot or you can cut it and put it into a collage wow look at this it says best wishes the reader's digest association and god is good yes he is bless me with beautiful friends wonderful supportive friends look at those butterflies and i like it kind of looks like a compass meets like map that's really pretty some more flowers and birds Ooh, what is this it's a bird as well in order to see birds it is necessary to become part of the silence that's really pretty also like watercolor love watercolors <gasps> Another beautiful junk journaling card. Corners there. Some more butterflies. Wow, that is gorgeous. Some more bird ephemera. Very pretty. Look at those butterflies. And I love the greenery here. A fun little pop-up bird. I don't know if you can see. It's a little popped up there. It says, wishing you all the joy of the season. With some, I think, like snowflakes or poinsettia looking snowflakes. How pretty. Oh, wow. This says New Orleans 10 Natural Album Prints. Um, I recently found me something like this in the thrift shop and I, I featured it on my Thrifty Thursday. So, this is going to go in with my cute little collection of postcard stuff. Here we have bingo. Oh, I love bingo. Yes, ma'am. I absolutely adore bingo. I have lots of fun with it. I start to sweat though because I'm like, yes. Call the next number. <laughs> Spread sunshine. Oh, look at this. Look at those colors and those buttons. How pretty. Some more journaling cards. These are somewhat twinsies. There's the front and the back. Look at those roses. Some, oh, look at this vellum. Oh, it's a, it's a sticker, I think. So if I peel this off, I can just attach it to whatever I'm creating. Some more flowers. That's a postcard. Oh, that's beautiful. Great to incorporate into a junk journal. You're simply wonderful. Some more journaling spaces. Oh my God, this is gonna last me forever, Dale. Thank you. And there is more in here. Let's see, some more journaling cards and wonderful goodies, butterfly. That's a picture. An actual printed picture wow that's really that's really pretty here we have another little bird a little pop-up bird some more of the christmas goodness and then some more of these journaling cards massive journaling cards good lord and another picture that they printed out it says Multicolor crystal archive paper. Isn't that gorgeous? 
Wow, thank you, Dale. Look at that butterfly. Ooh, I see a thing here. Look at that bow, isn't that pretty? Wow, that's really pretty. I love that. I love everything. Look at these journaling cards. Aren't those so cool? Some more of these hydrangea looking potters, planters, I mean. Check out that cactus. Oh, I love cactus. I love anything cactus. This is another postcard. And some more butterflies. And I don't know if y'all can see. It's got a little bit of speckle to it. And I love anything speckled. I don't know why I'm attracted to it. I just really, really like it. And then this says Southern Bell. And it looks like a... Like, if this could be framed in something. Another journaling card. Some more bingo. How fun. And I think this is a postcard. Yes. So I'll be able to put that into junk journals. Look at that. So, so pretty. Look at that church. It's another little postcard here. There's so some more bingo cards. And then this one's more of a thicker cardstock. I was taking a picture of that because I think it looks so pretty just scattered about. Look at this. And it is very thick. This one's another postcard, and you can see the carriage there. Beautiful. Ooh, excuse my nail polish. <laughs> it's all messy. Ooh, even the back is pretty. Are you all seeing that? Isn't that pretty? Lo New Orleans, Louisiana. And some more postcards here. Oh my word. <gasps> I just recently got a lot. Look at the Twin Towers. That's so tragic, you guys. Yeah, 9-11. <sighs> Rest in peace. Look at that one. Isn't that gorgeous too? Look at that scenery of the clouds. I love the clouds. Did I see the bridge too? Yes, there's the bridge. And then we have, ooh, we have a hotel. I love the way that looks with the palmas in the back. All right, here we have some more postcards. You can see that fantastic building in the back. Some more beautiful ephemera. Journaling cards. <gasps> mushrooms! I love mushrooms. So cute. This is another photo print. Look at that. And so whimsical. Look at this fountain. Isn't that cute? Holding that shell there. All right. Next up, we have some uh, cabinet cards. She, oh my gosh. These are so cool. These are so, so cool. Look how handsome he is. Wow, these are so vintage. Are you sure, Dale? These are so cool. She sells them also on her Etsy. So if y'all see something in here that y'all like, I wonder if she copied this one. And maybe if y'all see a print that y'all like, then y'all can go to her Etsy and uh, have a checkout for yourselves because this is so awesome and they're so neat. And you can see the writing on the back. I, I love seeing writing. And, uh, oh, look at him. He's handsome, too. Wow. Imagine if the boys dress like that and the girls, if we dress like back in the day again. And I know some people do it for photos and oh, stuff. She sent me oh, the she boys. She sent me the boys. Wow. This is so cool. Thank you so much, Dale. And look at him. Leaning on that chair. This is... Wow, thank you so much, Dale. These are so awesome. I'm going to set these aside because I don't want nothing bad to happen to them. <gasps> I'm going to keep these for me because these are so beautiful. All right, moving right along. She also shared some of this fun glittery tool with me. I hope it focuses. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? All righty, moving on to the next thing. It's another bag, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Um... <laughs> so overwhelmed for the most part all my stuff is used and like thrifted gifted and then i flip it so um 
this this means a whole bunch to me because like I said I don't go out and buy but I don't go out and buy stuff and and or um I did at one point I did buy some some goodies and then I felt really bad I was like shame on you like you're you're not doing you're not using junk journaling stuff so what what about it makes it a junk journal right and uh, I felt really ugly for thinking like that but I'm being very honest with you guys because like we're all friends here right and sometimes those thoughts kind of come into our our head but um I did I was just like what are you doing why are you buying this and that and um anyways I I just feel very very fortunate and very blessed look at this beautiful cling stamp butterfly that's beautiful I didn't really show y'all her but isn't she cute she's got she's got bird nests on her head and she's like hugging them <laughs> with some bird houses that's cute that's so cute and then here we have some uh spooky goodness halloween goodies which is fun because like i say have said in the past um my husband he is a halloween baby so last year i made a halloween spooky journal and i think it was the favorite journal i've ever created and i got to show him and he really liked it, it says hello thank you just a note we have some more birds here some more florals butterflies ladybugs and then here we have monami monami i don't know what's going on with my camera it's like not focusing very I well. fixed it and then here we have a rose i think i'm going to stamp this into my selena journal it's gonna look so pretty and then here we have what says friends but i want to know have y'all ever felt like that before where y'all have purchased stuff and then you feel really guilty look at this oh wow these are number stamps i don't think i've i don't think i have anything like this in my collection so then you could put your date however it is that you want and it cleans together so it doesn't fall apart so you don't have to like hold it real tight to keep them together while you do it so that's really really pretty i don't have anything like this dale so thank you so 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 very much all right next up we have some more clean stamps that she's shared with me here we have some beautiful butterflies she said i don't know what i did with that last one the third one up here but that's okay you've shared so much with me already had you just sent me one of those baggies over there, Dale. I that that would have been more than enough. I would have been so happy. It says she's showered me and spoiled me. Goodness gracious. Here we have some directional arrows. How cute are those? And we have some airplane and travel related cling stamps here for like vacation. We just got back from vacation not too long ago, so I can definitely use those for journaling. And then, wow, look at this one. I remember seeing this one and being like, oh my gosh. And the fact that she gave me um, some stamping ink, like big stamping ink pads, I did not have anything that big, so they're absolutely perfect for me to ink up these cuties and use Thank them. you for that, Dale. You thought of everything. I know I already said that, but for real, like, it's like you knew what I didn't have. <laughs> A friend may well be reckoned the masterpiece of nature. Amen. <laughs> In fact, you guys are. Y'all are such beautiful and supportive friends. This says thanks. This would be cute for like when I sell journals and stuff. I can stamp and say thank you to my supporters. Oh, look at these cute little spools. And they're wooden. And then this says, oh, did I, was I holding it wrong? love your life how cute like that's so cute that's a cute charm um one of the stamps fell but here it is it's a little arrow and i think i showed everything in here let's move on to the, the next items all right and next up i saw her feature this in the video and i could not stop smiling because i don't know what it is about tins but i love seeing tins of all things and just seeing this one is so perfect it's so beautiful and it's even got a cute little handle look how pretty oh my gosh it's, i'm i'm drooling it's just so pretty and it's so perfect dale like 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if we open it up, she put some cute little goodies in here for me as well. And she shared some of these clips, which I did not have. So I'm so very grateful and thankful that I will, look how grippy they are, wow. And a variety of colors. And sorry about the noise. Lots and lots of colors. And then she sent me these cute little mini cards, these cute little mini playing cards, like, <laughs> so cute I love um, oh I love minis I can't stop smiling look how cute I have to show y'all look how adorable <gasps> Mira look how cute I know I keep saying that I'm sorry I'm being annoying oh, they're so cute. I can't get over that it's just so precious okay let's move on to the next um Oh my god, I can't even get them into the box. They're so tiny. <laughs> All right, I was able to get them back into the box. I feel like my cheeks are feeling so sore now. I'm tour guide Barbie. When she's like, oh, my cheeks are hurting. Do y'all remember that from the scene of Toy Story towards the end, like the extras, <laughs> extra clips? My cheeks are literally so sore, you guys. I'm smiling so hard. Look at this washi tape how cute are those i love anything with like gold gilding in it it's so pretty these are gonna be so cute to put in like collaging or atcs so pretty oh i love my little tin next up she shared another little pad here with me uh for journaling oh look at this it says month monday through sunday so so pretty and cute and then we have some fun ephemera here um i think this might be like some tim holtz goodies so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got in here oh wow there's a lot okay so maybe i'll just do this because she put so much in here and i'm gonna have a hard time getting it back all right so sorry but i'm just gonna keep them in there because there is a lot of wonderful ephemera i can see some birds some butterflies and some tim holtz and then she also shared some books with me, which Paul loves books. We read books before his bedtime, and he he loves them. Cara recently also sent him some books to read, and he loves them. So this says Santa's Moose. Do you see that? Did you know Santa had a moose? Yeah. Yeah, you did? What's his name? Santa Claus. This is Santa Claus. What's the moose's name? Moose. Moose. Eat the like that. Yeah, he's got some horns. No, not horns. What are they? Antlers. But look, we can read this story together, bubs. And he is a Christmas baby, so this is perfect. He will absolutely love to read this. And then we have from the Imagination Library, which I think is sponsored by Dolly Parton, which Paul calls um, Momo, because actually my mother-in-law does resemble Dolly Parton in a way because of her hair. Yes. Who's this? That's Momo. You love Momo. Yeah. And this is the little engine that could. And we definitely did sign up Paul for um, the Imagination Library. But this is a hardcover book. I don't think his was a hardcover. I don't think it was. So that's really cool to add to our collection. And then this one I thought was so very sweet. It is Poems and Prayers for the Very Young. I have not seen this book around and this is gonna be really sweet to read with Paul at night and I think he's really gonna like it. And, or she said that I can use it for junk journals, but I think I will, I think I will read it first with my baby Paul because I think he'd really like this. Oh, look at those butterflies. Wow, this is so beautiful. Wow, this is such a beautiful book, Dale. Thank you so, so much. Look at that owl. How cute. Wow, so pretty. So, so pretty. And one last thing. <gasps> the little bottle. I put it over there because I did not want Paul to reach it because he was already reaching to take the needle off. And I was like, ooh, let's not do that. But um, I don't have anything like this. So this is perfect for all my crafty goodness. So thank you so, so much, Dale, for sharing this with me. I appreciate it so, so much. And goodness, you guys, she certainly blessed me with so many treasures. And I just, from the bottom of my heart, Dale, like, thank you so, so much. I think I've worked out my facial cheeks <laughs> so much. <laughs> 
to the point that they are sore and I'm very curious to know how they're gonna feel tomorrow but thank you so so much once again I know I already said thank you but God bless you tenfold my dear and I just you mean so much to me you guys mean so much to me and thank you for coming along through all this unboxing of this happy mail you guys have no idea how much this means to me and um I don't know, maybe share in the comments what you thought was one of the super cool items that Dale shared with me. And Dale sending you hugs, kisses, blessings, and love. And yes, that wraps it up for me today, you guys. Y'all take care, love y'all, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye, guys.